Hello and welcome to the Seabutters channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung Pro Plus Micro SDXC. This is a UHS-1 card with 95 megabyte read speed advertised rate and a 90 megabyte write speed, which is very high specs for a Micro SDXC card. So we're also going to be pitting it against this, the SanDisk Ultra. This is the highest capacity card on the market. It's 200 gigabytes, and it features a read speed of 90 megabytes a second, which is really fast, but read speed usually is not what these cards have trouble with. It's usually the write speed or the 4K write speed, random reads that they usually tend to have issues with. This is um, a UHS-1 card. This is also a UHS-1 card. Uh, these are both not the new UHS-2 card, but there's really very little devices out there on the market that support UHS-2. So we're going to be trying these devices in a few different usage scenarios to see which one comes out on top and whether the extra capacity uh, beats out the little bit more speed that this one should have. So we're going to take a look at it in the Service Pro 4. We're going to take a look at it in the Galaxy S7 Edge and run it through some real-world usage scenarios to see which one is the cream of the crop. So let's take a look. Okay, we are going to start ourselves off with the Samsung 128GB Pro Plus. We're going to pop it in the little slot on the back of the Surface Pro 4 and we are going to use a benchmark program called Crystal Disk Mark. We're going to select the 128 gigabyte. We're going to do a five rounds of one gigabyte and let's see how it goes. Okay, so there we go. Got some pretty decent speeds there. Not the 95 and 90 that it said on the package, but uh, pretty close. Okay, so let's perform a real-world test on this device. To do that, I'm copying a MKV movie stream over to the card to see how long that takes. Three, two, one. Looks like it's averaging right around 74, which is exactly what we saw up there. And that took exactly 44.8 seconds to copy that movie. Let's move on to the 200 gigabyte, see how it holds up. All right, let's give the 200 gigabyte card its turn. We're going to run the same theoretical test and then the file copy test. Okay, I'm actually pretty impressed with that result on this 200 gigabyte card. The write speed is actually quicker than what I was expecting. But let's go ahead and try a real-world test where we copy a movie file, 3 gigabyte file, over to the SDXC card, and we will see how fast that copies. So when we were actually copying a real-world file, it slowed down substantially to 15 megabytes a second. Or you would you would have thought it would go at about 62 megabytes per second, which is awesome, but it's not actually doing that. Okay, and that took three minutes and 25 seconds. Okay, so where does that leave us? The 128 gigabyte Samsung Pro Plus card had. Uh, really nice reads and writes, 
fact, both these cards had really nice reads and writes. Um, the Samsung Pro card had a little bit better 4K numbers, um, but at first glance and theoretical performance, you would expect them to be pretty equal in performance. But what we found when we actually started copying real world files was a three gigabyte movie file on the Samsung 128 gigabyte Pro Plus card. Copied the file in 48 seconds where the three gigabyte transfer on the SanDisk Ultra card actually took almost four times longer uh, despite very similar theoretical benchmark numbers. So that's a very interesting result. Let's go ahead and take a look at both of these cards on a phone and see what type of file transfers we get. Okay, so this is my actual use case for wanting a micro SDXC card to put in my Galaxy S7 Edge and transfer files over the network. Now, I have a really fast uh, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network in my house, and I wanted to be able to copy files as quickly as possible, particularly video files and movies. And so if we take a look, we've got the 200 gigabyte SanDisk Sculpture card, 200 gigabyte in here, and we're going to copy it and see how fast it can copy. So we're going to look at the speed there and see what the max speed ends up being. My guess is it's not going to go much more than that 15 megabytes per second that we saw because that's what we saw on the computer. And there you go. So here is the same copy test now with the Samsung Pro Plus. Uh, copying to the SD card and you can see that the speed starts out very quickly and then kind of evens out but uh, around 24 megabytes a second so the card I don't know if it's the reader inside the phone seems to cap out it on this particular phone at about 30 uh, megabytes a second theoretical, 33-ish, um, um, but, and the read speed isn't as high as it is on a computer either, so I think that's just the fact that the phone's ability to read and write on the SD card is not as good as the computer's, so there must be some sort of bandwidth issue, um, but still pretty fast, and the 128 gigabyte card still manages to copy about 10 megabytes a second faster which is you know close to double even on the phone versus the computer so let's wrap it up all right so two really great cards um we kind of found out what we expected the 128 gigabyte pro plus card was capable of writing at uh, much quicker speeds than the sandus 200 gigabyte card now whether having 72 more gigabytes is more important to you then waiting a little longer to get your file copies done, uh, that's up to you. You know, if you if you value your, your storage more than anything, this is definitely the card to get. If you want faster copy speeds, uh, maybe if you don't use quite as much space at once, but you still want a lot of space, this is a great card. The most interesting thing between these cards was that the theoretical benchmarks showed that they were much closer to the same speed than they actually were in real world performance which was pretty neat uh, to, to see that because at first glance you would think we'll just go with the 200 gigabyte card based on the, the benchmark. So anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you learned some things about these cards. Uh, you can't go wrong with either of them. Both of them are, are pretty quick. I would have liked to see that Galaxy S7 Edge be able to write a little bit faster with this card. It wasn't the card's fault. I think it's a bandwidth issue on the S7 Edge. And it's not even an issue. I, I assume that it's that most phones have those same types of write issues, but it should be plenty fast to do any type of video recording that you want to do. It does great with 4K video. It handles it just fine. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to the C Butters channel for more great videos like this, and we'll see you next time.